Welcome to the Body Smart Podcast, where we remove roadblocks to fitness and health to empower you to master your health habits. We help you become body smart. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Body Smart Podcast. I am so excited to have my guests on today. So we've got Ken and Janae Richardson from utahrunning.com and now the Utah Running Shop. So okay. that's pretty, yeah. pretty exciting. So if you've ever seen Utah Running Club um, on Facebook and Instagram and seen all the different clubs throughout the state of Utah, or if you've seen their page or seen them at races, these guys are the ones behind it. So pretty exciting stuff, fun to have them here today and to get to learn a little bit more about what they do and how they got into all this. So um, yeah, I, super stoked. Uh, we've been trying to set this up for a while and uh, so excited to have it. So um, awesome stuff. So Ken and Janae, how did you guys both get, well, first, how did you guys meet? Well, I, okay. yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, we met on the track. Awesome. Uh, so we, we both ended up in Ogden running cross country and track at Weber State. Okay, perfect. And uh, Janae liked my short shorts, so <laughs> nice. that's my version, right? <laughs> Speaking of Ken's shorts. I thought he wore the same shorts every day to practice. There were these black ones, like these little stripes on them. Super gross, right? Right. It wasn't until we were married that I found out that they had a guy that did their laundry for them when they're on the track team. So every day, it my mind. So it so was the same shorts. It was the same shorts, but they got washed. <laughs> but at least they were washed. It wasn't yeah. like college yeah. guy, like yeah. Yeah. three weeks in like the same shorts. It was like his one weakness, I thought, was the shorts every day. Right. But We're going to have to teach him how to clean. We found out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Found oh, out. That's, right. it's not so bad then. So, yeah, I, so we were both up at Weaver State together and, cool. and each other up there. We were one of the track team marriage casualties. So. All right. Yeah. I, I imagine that happens a bit. It right? does. Yep. Yeah. So I, I come from Davis High, right? Great running background, great running history, but we always joke that the family tree at uh, Davis High is more like a wreath. Because there's no forking. Everybody just marries somebody else <laughs> yeah. from Davis. And, like, it's just crazy. Keeps on going. Yeah, I went to a party the other day, and I think there were, like, six of the nine couples or something were all, like, like Davis couples. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, the same year, even. Most oh, of wow. Them. So, yeah, kind of crazy. Good people. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, met there then. How did you both get into running? You, you were obviously runners prior to right. that. Right, but. yeah. Yeah, so I, I ran cross country in high school and college, and, and in high school, so prior, prior to coming up to Weber, I went to Bingham High, Okay. and uh, partway through my senior year, my parents moved, but I had I decided to stay, and part of the reason for that was to run. Yeah. Uh, Bingham had really strong program when I was there. They were actually national champions in oh, wow. 1996, and then, um, so I was able to really come from a really strong program here in the state, and... Uh, that kind of gave me the foundation to be able to walk on at Weaver. I had an academic scholarship. Oh, cool. And uh, so I didn't start with an athletic scholarship. I, I walked on and was able to work with Chick Hislop to, to really develop and progress as a runner. Cool. And that's what happened for me is after walking on, I finished ended up finishing out my eligibility and that's lucky awesome. enough to get a scholarship to finish up. That's awesome. So let me brag about Ken for just a second. So <laughs> Sweet. He, Coach Hislop says he wasn't a walk-on, that he was a beg-on. Because he claims that he didn't ever run under five minutes in the mile before, right. before he came. Yeah. Which Ken thinks he did. But uh, anyways. Anyway. <laughs> but Ken ended up getting so good towards the end, he was like two seconds away from qualifying for the Olympic trials in the steeplechase. Wow. So like That's he went from a walk-on to... To flying. So they had yeah. a good program there. Coach Hislop really worked with them. Yeah. And he's a cool spot, local so. legend. Well, more than just local legend. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that's part of the reason why that recruiting, that time frame in recruiting, he got a lot of guys to Weaver. Because yeah. uh, in 1996, he was the uh, Olympic distance coach. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, he big name in, in running, especially here in Utah. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Yep. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And so it, what's your, yeah, your journey? Yeah, so I thing? actually, I love basketball all growing up. I kind of okay. grew up playing with the neighborhood boys, and, like, that was my thing. Nice. Um, but I remember in junior high, a bunch of my girlfriends, they had just gotten done with their volleyball season, which I was no good at that, so I didn't play. And I was kind of feeling left out because they had all kind of gotten chummy-chummy during volleyball right. season. That's so then crazy. some of them were like, let's do track. And I was like, oh, I don't really know, but I don't want to be left out again, so right. I'll just do track with my friends. So, um, yeah, I didn't even know if I was, like, sprinter, distance runner, but I ended up going with the distance kids. And, 
ended up being pretty decent at it and so just ended up going on to run in college and had that's, a great experience there at Weber State. So. That's awesome. Sorry, I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she ended up being pretty guy. decent at it like I'm a state champ in Idaho <laughs> and like my family watches the home videos all the time at Christmas time oh, about yeah. with me winning state meets and stuff. Yeah, so I had a awesome. good experience in high school and good coaches. And awesome. Yeah. Then Weber State was just some really good people. Like that's what I love about running is it's just good people that do it, and yeah. you just can't go wrong with those kind of friends. I right. think so I think true. one thing too is that running really. I mean, for us, it's been something that's changed our lives. Yeah. yeah. Like it's impacted our lives, and it's changed the way that we that we live life every day yeah uh, and part of that is because of utah running and the businesses that we're involved in now right but but really i mean the habits that we've established because of running and the the physical and emotional benefit that we get from running every day yeah those are the types of things that we really enjoy sharing with other people and sharing with one another i mean just yesterday we went for a uh, run together. I guess that was Wednesday. We went for a run together. <laughs> Whatever. Fun. Yeah, that it was. Wasn't that fun. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's fun even when it is really cold and rainy. As long right. as Ken's running in front of me and he can block that. Yeah, you can block the. Yeah. Wind. I was like, this is nice. Yeah, you probably do make a pretty good wind. Yeah, I can block a lot of. I mean, she likes but basketball, but. She's the shortest one on the court. Right. So. Uh, well, that, I was going to say, you probably had a better career path with uh, running yeah, than with yeah. basketball. Yeah. Uh, no, you've never seen her play ball. Well, yeah, <laughs> she, she, she probably we, got handles, huh? We, we, I just had to use my, my hand, ball handling skills. Right, right. I had to be wide open if I was going to shoot anything. <laughs> yeah. So. I feel you there. Yeah, I, uh, kinda I kinda ran into the same thing. Everybody else hit puberty and I was like, Whoa, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I went from being pretty good until like, oh uh, yeah, no, I probably should pick a different path. <laughs> so awesome. Um, so now you grew up in Idaho then? Is yeah. that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Ogden has this super loyal it's been fun to kind of get to know Ogden better being here. Um, super loyal like customer base and just Ogdenites tend to stick together and like really support other Ogdenites and stuff. It's been a cool thing to see how did you settle on Ogden? Like obviously Weber brought you here, but how, why did you stay here? Both of you are kind of from other places, right? What made Ogden kind of home? Well, I mean, for me, we, so when I started school at Weber, my parents lived in Washington and then they moved to Vegas Okay. and then they were in Vegas for like 15 years. But um, we really Ogden just kind of grew on us. We, mm-hmm. I think, our experience at Weber, but then also just the the feel of Ogden with the outdoor vibe and the yeah. the developments that have happened in Ogden over the, really like the past Since fifteen here, yeah fifteen twenty lot. years, uh, just with the changes everything from like the junction downtown to uh, everything with the trails along the bench. All the trails are amazing. I mean, just yeah. it's a. There's been a lot of development in Ogden. I think that's really that's really helped it. And and yeah. for uh, the other work that I do besides Utah running, I travel quite a bit. And, right, right. And it really is. I mean, Ogden is a gem. We it, we really love it here. It really is. Yeah. So I'm part of a, a group um, within the American Physical Therapy Association where mm-hmm. we are advocating for prevention, health promotion, and wellness throughout the country. And one of the biggest pushes is trying to help physical therapists get on boards and other things to right. push healthy living and healthy movement and and all that in communities and I sit there and hear everybody talk about oh how you've got to get in there and you've got to help help them build trails and all these other things and I'm like man where I live that's that's done like right. that community is already all over that we have trails everywhere I mean Ogden has a trail system throughout their whole city which is incredible right. like right. most most places they have to just like beat down the doors to be able to do that and Ogden's awesome that way so yeah. that it makes sense that that's a good home base for a running yeah, company we've, right? we really enjoyed it yeah I mean um, you've got so many cool things throughout the entire state of Utah right I mean the whole Wasatch Front has you know beautiful trails right but what we found is like there's just a unique set of trails right here on the East Bench in Ogden oh definitely and I mean the awesome part is you can get lost up there and the awesome part is that you can get lost up there I mean there's just right. like you know, it's just beautiful. It's uh, it's really fun for everybody, and and then I think it's just created this vibe of like, um, it's like the best kept secret, right? Like, right. Yeah, it's uh, a bad rap sometimes, but it's oh, it's, it's amazing a good place to be. Right, and the trails aren't too overcrowded. Like they're well used, right. so they're mm-hmm. well defined, and all those things. But it's not 
I, I don't know. There's Maybe some we places. Tell people this. I don't know. Let's cut that but, part out. <laughs> right. But there's some places where you go to run and you're just like nose to butt with other runners yeah. or, uh-huh. or hikers or whatever, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is not as fun. Yeah. Especially when you're used to just open it's trails and yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and so yeah, it really is a hidden gem. Just this whole area. There's so much to do yeah. and right. really fun. So. Picked Ogden as your home base, both really experienced and great runners. How did you decide to take this leap and go into entrepreneurial mania and start Utah running? Yeah. And and so you also do races and events yeah. throughout the country. Yeah, right? we do marketing and event production all throughout the country. So right oh. now we have about 60 or 70 events that we do across the country as well as ones here in the state that will be associated with Utah running. Yeah, awesome. So that's it's a lot of events. Yeah, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's running stuff. That's what we what we right. do. Right. Yeah. But we so it all kind of started. So in two thousand nine, we actually went and did a local five k. Right. Kind of surprising, a little weekend activity for us. And right. Uh, we saw some friends that we had uh, been acquainted with. We hadn't seen them for a little while. I, I actually it was done by Peak Performance. Okay. Which is down on the on the Parkway right, right. Uh, off of Twentieth Street. Well, and up here when they were in South Ogden. Right? No, I think they were. It was, they just they had, I think they had just moved oh, okay. and they were on the parkway. Yeah, because okay. it was just almost in this parking lot on the other yeah. side of yeah, Fresh it was in South Ogden thing. originally. Yeah. So they've been in peak performance has been around I think about thirteen years. Yeah, and about four or five years in they moved uh, down into downtown Ogden. Right. Okay. And uh, so we went and we did this race and it was on the parkway, and up you started. We went up towards like Rainbow Gardens and then came back and and. Um, we met, we saw some friends that um, we met and we talked with them and one of them had lost like 80 pounds That's or something. A lot. I don't wow. know. It was, it was a lot him. of weight. Wow. And uh, he was just super excited that he had finished the race. Yeah. And he was, they were so impressed with us because I had won the men's race and she had won the women's race and, he, and we were catching up because we hadn't seen him for a while. And we, and we started talking with him about what they were doing and it was motivating and inspiring for us with oh, for sure. how much weight they had lost and how running had impacted their them lives, and, basically. and yeah. yeah and so and they That's were cool. involved with software development and uh-huh. so we started talking to one another and, and one thing led to another and we started Utah Run cool and uh, so the, and they've, they've since moved on and they've got some incredible projects in software development that they've continued to do and we've moved on and kept going with Utah Running that's but cool. it has been that's that's really kind of what started it is talking with our friends about how running changes lives mm-hmm. and and also what holes they were missing as they were trying to find out how to get better and how to do more right. and how to find races we realized there wasn't a great place online to find what races were going on in Utah right so we tried to provide those resources for people and right to kind of be the right. hub of, of all yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so that's that's something that's really impressive about your website and, and kind of everything that you do. I, you've got a booklet that comes out about all the races and things like right. that, right? Mm-hmm. So you really have established yourself as the hub of running in, in the state of Utah for all the information, connecting people with you know, coaches or people like me to help people mm-hmm. stay on the road and all right. those things, expert panel and all those things that you have to really – connect all of these people that have a passion for running mm-hmm. and that yeah want to get helped by running or all those things to connect right what a what an important and and awesome in my opinion thing Thanks. to be able yeah. to provide that's yeah. that's it's cool fulfilling yeah how did you when did you realize i guess that you could like make it make money and be like an actual <laughs> like well, something that you're doing and skip yeah. the day job type thing. I think uh, when we realized that was when we started to see much how, how much site traffic mm-hmm. we got. And so uh, originally the main driver of site traffic and still the main driver of site traffic is, is the calendar. Yeah. And people yeah. coming and searching and we try to make that comprehensive. Uh, we've built relationships with a lot of race directors yeah. and getting their, their events on the website. Uh, and so that's really where the primary drive for revenue has come from is is advertising. Yeah. Uh, but then also we you know when we provide good content that gets more traffic. Yeah. So some of the, Janae, I mean she ended up finishing her master's degree in exercise science, and uh, that lends some additional credibility, as well as she's she's really 
nerdy about making sure we have cool content and right, good right. information and uh, and so providing information and resources that's really what kind of drives the traffic and drives right the, really drives the revenue right uh, is being able to get good information to people and I think that's really kind of the intent like Janae had mentioned that um, beyond just finding races it's information about how can I stay healthy right you know like who's a resource well okay Cameron I can use Cameron as a resource so I can stay healthy or I can use uh, you know wherever they're at yeah there's they, so many right they, yeah, that but, are great but what ends up happening I think sometimes is people uh, don't have the information that they need or don't take the don't have the resources that they need right to be able to you know put together an effective training plan what do I do if I get hurt how do I stay motivated? Right. I mean, what, what are some of the other things you think that... Well, I just think the awesome part about social media is that you can get... You can find information from a lot of different people and a lot of different sources. Right. But sometimes, I think people just take their people's word for it without maybe... I mean, they have some experience, but maybe they don't have all the know-how behind it. Right. And so we're trying to provide both. You know, we that, can answer yeah. the questions, but we have people, we have our expert panel, like you mentioned. Yeah. We have ourselves with the experience and the schooling so right. that we can give them, like, answers that are backed up by research and... Right. Um, and by people that have actually done it, that right. are real runners. Yeah. Yeah, right. so... Oh, it's it's awesome. The community that, that you've created is really awesome. So I, if you're not on their mailing list, get on their mailing list. It's great stuff. So I read an article by Tim Spiker the other day. Uh-huh. Um, that I was like, this is so what people need to hear. Right. So it was so about good recovery about and recovery and, and yeah, like what works and what doesn't, article, what yeah. the the research is behind it because you get so many false things about like, oh, what foam rolling does or what this or that or, you know, yeah, all these things right. do. And to, to be able to show people the research of like, yeah, okay, like it's not, articles yeah, that exactly. Yeah. But it's great. And it's like, well, so that doesn't actually do that. It can help. It feels good, but it's not necessarily doing anything at a tissue level or it's yeah. not really informing people in that way. So they know how to make better options is awesome. Right. And so having that kind of information out there is great mm -hmm. and, and so much more informative for runners than just more kind of like gym style. Hey, this works for me. You know, right. yeah. you see so much kind of, I call it bro science, right? Bro science. <laughs> it's like those guy co commercials. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. <laughs> it's pumping iron. Yeah, bro. This is the professor. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And that bro science, like, oh, you need to be eating this much protein and you need to be, you know, keto this or blah, blah. You know, there's so many things mm -hmm. out there that are based more on opinion than science. And, yeah. and some of the, you know, there's a place for all of it, but we don't always apply it right. And, right. And so having. An expert panel, I think, is such a great idea to be able to have resources for runners where they can reach out and find the right people for what they want to accomplish. And like you said, you know, motivation is a big factor, figuring out how to work the time in, and then injury, you know, runners are notoriously injured. Yeah. Um, and so helping people to figure out how to run in a way where they're not going to get injured, that's, that's awesome. So. Yeah. Thank you for providing all that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think, I wonder if it would be helpful if maybe Janae explains a little bit more about the expert panel, like what exactly the expert panel is for anybody that may not be familiar yeah, with it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we, we've just pulled together like coaches, physical therapists, doctors, um, elite athletes, nutritionists, massage therapists, just a little bit of everything to be on our expert panel. Um, and that's what's been fun about Utah Running is we've been able to just network and and get yeah. a feel for you know who out there in our state is already doing these awesome things and then we just pull them into one place um, they're on our website with their information and then they also can field questions from anybody in the community um, we oftentimes use them for yeah. like Cameron you know to write an article for our run Utah magazine that comes out quarterly um, but yeah we we realize we've, we feel like we bring some expertise to the table but we realize that we don't know everything and so we've tried to seek out the best for you guys so that you can get the information you need from people you can trust and, and know that they've done their background and research too. Right. Cool. So, so yeah. that's the expert panel. It's And it, it really is a great resource. I mean, people here in the state that, you know, know what they're talking about at least a little bit, right? Yeah. And so it's, it's good. Um, so 
you've got so many things going right now. Right now is a crazy busy yeah. time for you guys, right? <laughs> So, juggling. yeah, juggling a bunch of things, uh, aside from having an entire family, um, a lot of things going on business-wise. So you've got uh, the website just rolled out, a brand new website, yeah. which yeah. is a huge so, undertaking. Yeah, yeah. we so completely, completely redesigned the website. <laughs> well, we've got which, lots of funds we're working through. <laughs> sure, I'm sure. But so in the middle of building a, a whole website and working on all those bugs, you just kind of decided, hey, let's buy a running store too, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. So How did that come about? So well, excited we, about that. Yeah, we are really excited about it. So, it, I mean, really, literally everything has come full circle in, in, right. in the past 10 years because we're back at peak performance and instead of doing a 5K, we're actually putting on a 5K and we own the store now. So we That's bought peak wild. performance in Ogden, Utah and we're going to be rebranding it as Utah Running Shop. Mm -hmm. We've got a grand, kind of a re-grand opening that we're doing. It'll be March 1st and 2nd. And we are, I mean, really, we are really excited about it. It's been super busy lately. No, mm -hmm. uh, I can't even imagine. Like, yeah. all the, so in talking with Preston and, and uh, Ben at the, at the store and stuff, all the things that have, that go into that, like redoing all of the contracts yeah. with every running shoe company and trying to expand right. how many right. running shoes are there. And, right. Oh, my gosh. It yeah. just seems crazy. It's, it, we've actually given up all of our kids as part of the contract <laughs> terms. So they ask for your firstborn, they want a sample of blood, right. they want taxes for like a decade. Right, your left kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, the, the, that process has been really interesting, just setting up the vendor agreements. And yeah. we, brought in, we brought in uh, a couple new brands that we didn't have, that Peak Performance didn't have. So, uh, and then we've been kind of getting up new contracts set up with all of the other vendors. Right. So. Uh, That's really incredible. Uh, yeah, exciting for us as far as getting the inventory up. We've, we've got a lot of new nutrition in. We brought in UCAN, which again is kind of one of those well researched, well uh, right. kind of science founded uh, nutrition brands. We're, nice. we're going to be, we've got a Garmin account. We've actually brought in some Garmin's and sold all the Garmin's and now we're going <laughs> to get our Garmin's in again. So. It's, yeah. We keep buying it. Learning, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Learning inventory management, yeah. right? Is kind of a new thing. Yeah. Huh? Oh man. Yeah, the retail the retail piece is gonna be interesting for us. Yeah, uh, totally new. Yeah, totally new for us. We're it's a That's crazy. Interesting for to kind of get a handle on the inventory and um you you mentioned Ben and Preston, so yeah. But maybe just a quick introduction of, about them. Ben Van Beekham is the manager for Utah Running Shop and uh, he again kind of the same philosophy that we've tried to apply is right. experience, education. Right. He, I mean, he's, he's well-informed, his, his uh, undergraduates and, and experience with athletic training. Right. Uh, he's got experience with managing shoe stores and he is always a runner himself. Yeah, he's a great yeah, accomplished he, runner Yeah, himself. I mean, he yeah. Won, won Huntsville last year and like two weeks later went back and did and took like ninth or 10th, I think, at, at St. George. George. Yeah. 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 I guess he was... That's Wherever he was, yeah. I mean, crazy. Yeah, that's so, that's pretty intense. Yeah, that, so, back to back. Uh, we're excited about the team too. We've got a really good team with yeah. with Utah running and yeah. But the the store definitely an exciting thing for us. Yeah. That's oh, cool. I'm I'm really excited about it. Um, I think I've already bought like two or three pairs of yeah, shoes. Yeah, we so. appreciate the support. Yeah, that's what has been so cool. Is, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a risk and it's kind of a scary adventure to take on. Yeah. But we've just felt so much support from our friends yeah. and the community. And like yeah. it just it keeps giving us confidence like, okay, we can do this and this right. is going right. to be a really fun thing. Right. So no, we appreciate that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Well, it's it's exciting. It's it's fun to see. And, and like I said, I've been blown away at how supportive Ogden is of other small businesses. They're, like, yeah. they're so amazing. Cool. We've actually, so it's really cool to see. We've actually got a like a kind of a table that's set aside for shop local. Yeah. So Ogden Made, there's a, that's this is our shameless plug for Ogden Made. Right. <laughs> Great backpacks, hats. Uh, some cool T-shirts and stuff. We've got those in the store. We're gonna ha bring in O Town Kitchen, which is like oh, cool, cool jams and jellies. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple, and few some other, local art yeah, too. some local yeah. art. So. We're, so we'll bring in some other local products to give them kind of some retail front space and yeah. and just an exciting I love it thing for us to yeah. support the community there. No, for sure, and and that's I think that's such a great thing that backbone of community support and everything really. It'll make it fly. That's yeah. that's what really makes it go because yeah. people become loyal to you, and I love it. I think that's such a cool thing. Yeah. So running shop March first and second is yep. the grand yep. reopening. Yep. So it's a Friday and Saturday. That's awesome. That'll be so fun. Doing a running event with that. We are. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna have we're gonna have a run on Saturday morning. Some free food. Come out for breakfast. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we'll have Coach Hislop is going to be there for a oh, while. Wow. So cool. uh, he's going to be answering questions about training. Also, uh, he'll be signing a, copies of his book. Cool. Um, we're going to have uh, a couple, other, couple other people lined up. In. So those will be announced soon. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So where do people find out more? What's the best place to go? Yeah, so probably Facebook. Facebook. Um, we have an event set up, just our Utah Sorry. Running Shop yep. Facebook I, page. Or I Utah Running today. has it as well. Yeah, yeah. Utah Running. It's a shared yeah. event there, so they can find it there as well. Perfect. Yeah, so. I clicked. I'm going. I clicked on that yeah, today. So. That's good. You'll probably see a huge right. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the there. I hope so. I hope that's what happens. That'd be great. Um, but so yeah, that's really exciting. I'm I'm so stoked for all the different changes. So what are some of the other things that you guys have going on I, other than family, kids, and like four businesses? Yeah. Um, well, I think we we did just buy a new board game, <laughs> King, King of New York. That's kind of big, kind of big in our family. We're big. Awesome. We like we like board games. That's how you unwind. Yeah, and, I think okay. I think Perfect. we might have like. Like a little corner of the store dedicated to board games board too, or games something. We've got like a kids' corner. I don't know. I'm over kind of the display and atmosphere stuff. So we yeah, to that's that true. Me. That's true. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So quick, quick, funny story. I, I don't know if other people will find this funny, but I think it's funny. I'm, I'm so Janae, Janae is always like, she like all the colors in the store. So we've rebranded everything. We've got red and white and black. Right. It used to be kind of these yellow walls. We've repainted everything. Um, but she's bringing in kind of kind of like a wood looking like yeah. a wood feel mm -hmm. to the store as well. Yeah. And so there's all these things, and it's always like Ben will ask something, and I'll be like, "Dude, ask Janae." I don't <laughs> know, man. Like I'm just That's I'm just here to, my I'm just here to right. get inventory figured out and get shoes in so we can sell shoes. Right. But how it looks and how it feels. Janae's got that. And so that's where we make a good team. Right. And that uh, complement each, each other and the stuff that we do well. Right. Because if you ask me, like, colors or coordinate colors or to put something on display, I'm going to be like, uh, sure, hang it up right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'll, that'll I work. have to convince them sometimes, though, that right. it's worth it. So the other day, this is my, my sideways tactic, Adam, but we were driving and we went by a Maverick. And I said, what do you think Mavericks do so well? Like, what do you think it is right. about them that was kind she of changed the, no. the scene there? And yeah. so Ken's like, well, I mean, they, they came in and they put money into, like, cleaning it up and just making it look nice, and they rebranded it, you know, the whole right. adventure Their line, theme, their store, you know? their adventure right. theme, yeah. right. go through the whole thing, and all the stuff <laughs> that Maverick's done. And, and then Janine's like, so the way that the look and feel of Maverick, that makes a difference in what people purchase and buy? And it's I'm like, perfect. I set them up. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, so I'm going to go buy a few things <laughs> in the store, make so. it look nice. When did you realize, like, oh, she totally set me up? <laughs> not, not until, like, like, I had to, like it was, like, set up, to him. Like, pitched, did you see how I did that? she loved it, I hit it out, and then after I hit it out, I was like, wait a second, that's oh. exactly what she wanted me to do. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that's so funny. So, obviously, so, a lot of people say that, you know, marrying an entrepreneur is, like, one of the hardest things you'll ever do. You're both kind of entrepreneurial, right? So... How does that work? How do you guys make it work in your in your relationship and everything to, you know, keep the smiles on yeah. your faces and keep the kids happy and we never sleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we eat occasionally. No, no, no. I think like what Ken said, like we Ken's kind of more the risk taker. Yeah. And then I'm more conservative, so we balance each other out that way. Yeah. Um, but I think we both had to kind of come in the middle there a little bit at times, and so that's worked really well. But we but I think part of it is like the type of things that we're doing with the businesses we're both very passionate about awesome. and so we have that common ground to always come back to but it's definitely a roller coaster ride oh for sure I mean, yeah we have to keep each other going through the downs and oh. then and get to, I, I would like, imagine there are some the big downs too. at yeah. that point yeah. right it is where you thought we're gonna coaster. lose the whole thing yeah, yeah. I'm sure you've been there yeah. yeah um so you're more ready fire aim and you're more like whoa 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 let's yeah. let's put some direction to this huh? yeah I, and ken's really good at like um big picture like the vision mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like just mapping that out and that's what i love about him and then i feel like i come in and i'm like okay but here's our to-do list here's like, some these details, are the details. Yeah. can you check these off for right, me? right. <laughs> and i'm following that's, up so it, it works out well uh, that it's funny so i find that in myself i'm more of ready fire aim and i'm more of like I'm good at starting tasks. Yeah. Like I can get things going and then I'm right. on to the next idea. I'm really uh -huh. bad at finishing tasks, <laughs> right. right? So <laughs> I'm terrible at it. And so it does help to have somebody that can like be that other that other half, that other like 
the finisher and the like, whoa, okay, great idea, but let's rein this in. And, yeah. Right. So that's awesome. Does that, I don't know, it, it's fun to see that work in your relationship and have it be focused on something that's such a common, right. you mm-hmm. know, thing. What, I guess, what is kind of the the core of what guides your decision making? What do you weigh that against that's like, yeah, we are going to do this. We aren't going to uh, do this. Yeah, I mean, I like, we we really do try to be pretty deliberate about what we, what we do Mm -hmm. and and how we plan and go about doing it. Um, one time we were on a hike or we were getting ready to go on a hike. This was, was it Grandeur Peak? I can't remember. It was down in Salt Lake. And there was a lady coming down as we were leaving the parking lot and we stopped her and I said, Hey, how was the hike? And we talked to her for a minute and she says, you know, it's this, it's like an 8%. how long it's going to take Yeah, us. it's like, because right. we wanted, we, did, we were kind of crunched for time. So, right. so how long did it take you? And she's like, oh, it took me like 87 minutes and there's like a 12% grade here. And if you move, if you, once you hit this section, then there's like an 8% grade. But I was probably 60% done with the hike after I, and she's just throwing out all these numbers and both of us. All these percentages. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, like a lady, especially. Right. Like, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, she's <laughs> really geeking out. Yeah, she's like, oh, that's, <laughs> that's cool. Like, we, she knows this hike. And uh, we, so we let her go to her, she went to her car and we kept going. And Janae said, oh, that lady was speaking your language. I'm like, what? What do you mean she's out percentages? That's your, <laughs> that's your love language. So That's I mean, we do because he loves he loves numbers. He crunches yeah. numbers. He, he makes sure like this is a smart decision. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like I'm maybe more the feel okay. good type stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm like, wow, this could really impact people in a positive way. And Ken is too, but he's like yeah. he backs it up with like this doesn't make sense or yeah, you're giving too much away here. <laughs> right, <laughs> kind of brings me back mm-hmm. to where you're like this is smart or this is not smart. So well, and I think good. I think that that really I mean I am kind of the that ready, fire, aim piece. But, but And sometimes I'll like, I'll look at a spreadsheet or I'll think of an idea or think of the numbers and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. And then we get going and I'll be like, hey, uh, you gonna be okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it works yeah. out, it works out pretty well. No, it, it's it's crazy how those things all balance out eventually. And I, I think it's the passion that for what you're trying to do that carries it all through in the end, right? Yeah. But, yeah, there's well, definitely some scary and, moments. And honestly, it, it keeps us sane. You mm-hmm. know, like yeah. for me, running, I mean, generally it's early in the morning, but I mean, I run every day and it's time for me to think or it's time for me to interact right. with my friends or it's time for me to go on a road with her. Like, it's a running is a social experience as right. well. And uh, that, this, the social benefits, the physical benefits, the mental benefits of, of any physical activity, whether it's running or swimming or, yeah, cycling whatever. Or, yeah, yeah, cycling. Whatever. I mean, it's you. You go out and mountain bike. I mean, it it, it always kills me when Janae k- just crushes me down a hill when we're mountain biking. Right. But <laughs> it's like. How do you put that up? Yeah. yeah but <laughs> but you know, working out and being physically active. Yeah. It it literally changes people's lives and it makes it so that you can deal with whatever stresses you have in your life. Right. It's a great way to. Oh, to, to deal work with that. those things out. Right. Oh yeah. Well, Definitely. we just had such good experiences with teams. Like in high school, we both had awesome high school right. running experiences. And then the Weber State team experience was so fun. And so we've tried to, you know, we have the website and we have the running store now. <coughs> right. Um, but we've also tried to build like our, yeah, our your running racing club teams. and oh, our yeah. racing team and our elite racing team. Um, just because after you're done with high school or college, like, you don't have those opportunities right. anymore. It's hard and to be on a team. Yeah. yeah. And so we, yeah, that's true. and we just feel like it's so powerful. Oh, it um, is. And you know, on those teams, especially in high school, I mean, you have somebody that is a state champion and you have somebody that's like the last person in, Right. but you're mixing together right. and you're having a good time and you all belong. And that's like right. my dream with Utah Running Club is it encompasses all those groups. But anybody, fast or slow, can feel like they can come and be involved and be empowered by right. a group and be accountable and everyone's working towards similar things. And anyways, no, I, so I, I love like that. that part. I've, too. I've loved that going to some of the run club, um, different runs and stuff like that. I run super slow because that's kind of my, you know, metabolic shtick. And so I, I like to run slow for m- the majority of my miles. And so I was nervous at first, like, oh, I run so much slower than most people like choose to run and and so am I am I going to be like the last one at the back of the pack and I was really pleased to see that like pace didn't really matter you just run at your own pace and everybody like you find somebody to run next to and and it's fine like 
and they get big enough groups and enough involvement, there's usually somebody around your pace, and mm-hmm. it's, right. it's great. It's really it's a fun experience, and I didn't feel like I was the slow guy out there just plodding yeah, along on my own. Sometimes it was, I think that's it was all fun. it takes, just coming yeah. out one time and seeing, like, yeah. these guys are really down to earth. And, like, I always just say, like, it's more about the commitment than it is about how fast you are. You oh, know? yeah. Like, if you're committed to just trying to improve, and right. people respect you for that. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Right. Oh, so. and it's such a great community. I can't tell you how many pictures you see on Facebook and stuff like that of an end of a race, and you've got a whole lineup of people all in there, right. you know, utahrunning.com shirts. And it's it's fun because it is a whole group of yeah. people with from various levels but they're all there, like, as a team, like you said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What a fun thing. That's really cool. That's been really fun for us, a fun yeah. addition. Yeah. So. Well, so, obviously doing a lot of really great stuff with Utah Running. We could probably talk about yeah. all of the yeah. other yeah. things yeah. for hours, <laughs> right? No, so awesome stuff. Super excited. And this next development, this next step is going to be so awesome. I'm really excited to see what happens with the Utah Running Shop. Again, the grand reopening, March 1st and 2nd. Um, everybody should come out and see okay. what they're doing. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of events associated with that. Mm-hmm. Right. So check it out on the website, utahrunning.com, as well as Utah Running Shop. Shop. Well, so utahrunning.com is the name of the Facebook group as well, right? Yeah. The so yeah. 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 You can find everything you need there. And, yeah. And then on utahrunning.com, you can find shop you can find the club you can find the teams right the right. expert panel all that all stuff. that stuff so, yeah. and so yeah you can sign in they have a portal where you can sign in if you're a member mm-hmm. and and get all the member benefits and there's a ton of member benefits and stuff yeah. so if you're a runner definitely sign up because there's a lot of things that that gets you by by being a member and so awesome stuff thanks um, yeah, thanks yeah. So. so thank you so much for joining us and it's been so exciting to have ken and janae here um what a fun thing and check them out on March 1st and 2nd at the Grand Reopening. Check them out on Facebook and all the social media stuff. And we'll hope to see you there at the event uh, next in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much. And we'll see you. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Body Smart Podcast. Join us in the Body Smart community on Facebook to share your successes or ask a question for our next episode. Now get out there and take the next step toward living your active lifestyle.